right, guys, we're gonna, I'm gonna turn on the clock really quick. We're gonna start jogging in place. Let's go, everybody, jogging, 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 jogging. Jog in place. In place. Yeah, jog in place. Jog in place. You don't have to run in a circle unless you're Freya and you just like running in circles, and that's cool too. There you go, good, good, good. All right, guys. There we go. Nice, nice, nice. We got about 15 seconds, guys. I've got the timer. I can see it here. So we're just going right now. We're just jogging. We're just jogging. We're just jogging. So we got eight more seconds. And then we're going to go to high knees. We're going to lift those knees really high. And not three, tip, not tip. two, and one, and go. Good job. Good job. I got a lot of here. I've only got one young lady. Right I'm now. getting close. Go, Freya, go. Go, Freya, go. You got to be the best girl on <laughs> I've got a couple boys, but they're flying out of the picture. Nice to do. Keep going. 12 seconds, guys. 12 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. You're about to go to heels to your bottom. Sometimes they're called butt kickers. I'll move back so you guys can see. Heels bottom. Three, and two, and one. Yes. And go. Butt kicks, butt kicks, butt kicks. Just like this. There you go. Very nice, guys. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. <laughs> I like it. Good job, guys. Very nice. Keep it up. 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. Go as quick as you can. As quick as you can. As quick as you can. Go, 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 go. Three, excuse me, eight seconds. We're going to go to jumping jacks, guys, in five, in four, in three, in two, in one, and go. Jumping jacks. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Freya, you look amazing, girl. Come on. Come on. Work hard. No, you better work, man. Freya's going crazy today. Holy smokes. He's going. 15 seconds, guys. 15 seconds. Let's go. Let's go. Nice, nice. All right. You're going to start sprawling here in about five seconds. You're going to hear a buzzer. Keep going. Keep going. Jumping decks. Jumping decks. Let's go. Ready? And sprawl. And right back up and sprawl. And then right back up and then sprawl. There you go, guys. Let's go. Sprawl, sprawl, sprawl. Hands on the ground. Keep your feet back just like this. Sprawl. Right back up. Sprawl. The bar wraps are tall. Look at that. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, got 10 seconds left. 10 seconds left. I like it. I like it. I like it. Keep going. Keep going. All right. And everybody, knees and hands. Nice and easy. Turn your sit up. Go. 25 seconds. Nice and simple. Yeah. I like I teach you, how I teach you, uh, bravo. I go back so he can see when I'm on jail. Stay in your place there. Nice job, there it is. Keep working, Good. keep working. Six seconds, do your best. We're gonna start standing up with good posture in two, in one, let's go. No, he can see me. Good luck, I stand up. Move back. I stand, I twist. I stand, I twist. There you go. Let's go, guys. Hurry up. 15 seconds. Very good. Very good. Yes. Keep going. Now the other. Hi. How are we doing, Alan? I'm crying. Good, Alan. Nice. There we go. There we go. All right, guys. Have a seat for me just like this. We're going to tuck one leg and roll up. Let's go. Roll up. Roll up. Roll up. There you go, guys. Come on. Keep going. Roll all the way up. Sit down. Roll up. Sit down. Roll up. Sit down. Roll up. Very good. Eight seconds, and then we're going to do our back balls standing up in base. In three, in two, in one. Let's go. Back balls. Stand up in base. Good. Back balls. Stand up in base. Back ball. Step in base. There you go. Let's go, guys. I don't keep going. Seconds, 15 seconds. Don't to run into anybody. Get any cats, any dogs, any goldfish, any brothers, any sisters. Nice. Nice. Here's the bottom of my screen. I think that's. Uh, he sucked and did that really, or is it Muhammad? Who did this? the white key. Go, go, go. All right, guys, here we go. On your backs, side to side, side fall, look. Side fall, side fall. Side fall, side fall. Side fall, side fall. Go, guys. Five seconds left. 
Toronto. <laughs> nah. All right, guys, do me a favor. Ten good push-ups. Then grab a quick drink of water. Ten good push-ups, grab a drink of water. All right, so what we're going to do, guys, really quick is this. So we started off, guys, with this can be your partner. This can be a cushion. This can be anything you want to. So we talked about side control. Right, because we were looking at side control attacks. Now, one of these drills we did for attacking and defending, right? So here's the thing. I'm gonna pretend like the head is over here and I'm gonna pretend like the feet are over here. So how do we do our side control? We go one hand under, palm down. Sometimes we go palm up because we're holding on to the armpit. The other hand goes under the bottom, just like this. And you can hold on to the legs or the cloth, doesn't matter. But I'm gonna turn sideways a little bit so you can see. When I was here, how do I get to the knee on belly? Well, this is what I do. I let go of the legs, I put my hand on the far hip. I let go of this shoulder, come to the top and put my hand here. Now I popped up and boom, I came across. Now, when we were doing the knee on belly, remember I told you, it's like you're sitting on something. So my foot has to be right here. I'm gonna move it up so you can see a little bit better. But see, my foot is hooked right here, guys. My knee, I want it all the way over. Now, if this was a person, this would be a really big person. My knee's not getting all the way over there, but that's okay. I just want to be right here. So this is how we got to our knee on belly. But we did have a drill, guys, that we used to warm up our hips, our legs, and stuff like that. And to do that one, we didn't sit all the way through. We did what we called a shallow knee on belly. You see, my foot's kind of off. Now, in this drill, I'm going to have you guys do this here in just a second with your pillows or your buddies, whoever. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your hands either on the shoulders or on the mat. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch sides. That's all I'm gonna do. I'm gonna switch sides. Now, I'm gonna turn sideways so you guys can see this a little bit better. So if I'm here and I put my hands on the shoulders, look what I do. I switch sides. Now, if I can, or if I have to, sometimes I have to bring my legs together. I have to lean, look, I bring my feet all the way up. I always want my feet to be as high as possible, guys because it helps me not get caught in half guard or quarter guard. This part, guys, so when you do this drill, right, it's not super, super hard, right, but um, it's fairly easy for everybody to get. Now, I'm gonna go to the next piece of this. When we were working on the attacks, we also said that one of the things that we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to make sure and scoop the elbow because we said there were two things that can happen. I can either mount or I can scoop the elbow and I can attack an arm bar. Um, actually, let's mount first. So I'm gonna back up really quick and show you how to remount. So again, I'm gonna use the same pillow because I want you guys to kind of get used to this, right? So I get my knee in a shallow position. I'm gonna slide it all the way in. Now, the head is here. I turn and I look at the head. So this is a shoulder, this is a shoulder. Look what I'm gonna do, guys. The hand that's on the shoulder, I'm gonna go underneath, palm down. That's gonna stay down. This hand over here on the hip, it's gonna slide underneath the other arm and it's gonna be palm up. Now, when I do this, guys, I'm gonna to have to put pressure on the face, right? Now, this leg, I'm gonna turn so you guys can see it. This leg over here is gonna slide this way and it's gonna come all the way up, right? My other leg, I have to clear it. So look, I'll turn this way so you can see it. Sometimes that can be hard, especially if you leave this elbow here really far back. So take that elbow, put it on the ground. When you do that, now you can step up on the hip, step on the hip, post your arms, and you're gonna be in a really high mount, guys. Now, again, I'm trying to use the same tools you kind of have at your disposal so you can kind of see what it looks like. Let me do it one more time from a slightly different angle so you guys can see it. So, I get to knee on belly, all the way over, hand on the hip, hand on the shoulder, go underneath the head. Hand that's on the hip goes underneath the other hand. Oops, let me scoot back a little bit, guys. So underneath the head, underneath here. Look, whatever hand is under the head, that one is always palm down. Other one, palm up, right? I bring my leg back, I slide it up. I open my elbow so I can put my weight there and I don't fall. Now my foot that's on his body, look, I step onto the hip and I adjust. And now I'm in mount. So we had the surfing drill. Like I said, it showed up for both um, of the uh, skills in attacks and defense. Then we had this mount, right? Now the other piece that we used is we also used the piece where we were simulating or doing the arm bar situation. So what that looks like is this. So if I'm here, 
and I'm on the guy neon belly again. We talked about sometimes when you get to neon belly, the, it hurts so bad sometimes, it's so uncomfortable that people will push your knee. If they do that, we talk about grabbing their arm. Now, if you have a pillow, you're going to have to use a lot of imagination here right now, right? So you're going to have to use your hand like this. You're going to step back into a squat. You see how I'm kind of lifting the pillow on purpose? I'm in a squatted position, but I'm pretending like I've got the guy's hand. Now, I'm going to turn a little bit so you can kind of see this. When I come up like this, guys, the next thing that we did, if you remember, is we posted our hand over the head, then we put our knee down, and this was the important piece. This is the one that Alexander started to do right off the bat. He reached over and he grabbed the pant legs. We sat back down, put over the head, pinched our knees, and then we did our arm bar. But I told some of you guys that if you like to throw your leg over, that you can throw your leg over and finish the arm bar. Now, again, guys, for those of you that have a partner, I would recommend using your partner. For those of you guys that don't have a partner, I would recommend doing the best you can with that kind of a pillow situation, and then we can work from there. Video. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do really quick. I'm going to use a, I'm gonna use a foam roller really quick, guys. It doesn't have to be a foam roller, but I'm gonna use a foam roller today. Check this out really fast. So we talked about this. If the guy is on the knee on belly, let's pretend that his knee is over here on this side, his feet are over here on this side. This is the side, remember guys, that I had to hug. I had to hug like this. And this is the side where I grabbed the ankle. Now, when we did this drill, guys, and we studied this drill, we bridged over to our shoulder like this. And when we started to drop our body back down, that's when we pushed. And then our knees came up to hug the leg. That was super important, right? But the other big piece was where we were holding on tight, hugging tight, and then we dropped our knee because we bumped them with our knee. When we bumped, that's when we came up and we hugged the leg and we finished the single leg, right? So that was super, super important, getting to the single leg uh, from that move. Now that was a long class. It looks like a simple movement, but it was a longer class. Let me do it again from a slightly different angle so you guys can kind of see again, right? So if I'm here, this is the knee, this is where the feet are. If the knee is hanging here, I hug the knee and the leg like this. This hand is palm down, grabbing the ankle or the foot, doesn't matter which. Now look how I bridge. I bridge at an angle. I bridge at an angle. When I start to drop my weight, that's when I push. I bring my knees up so I can hold on to the ankle. I'm holding on to the leg still. And this arm, I'm using my elbow to trap. Now, this is where I drop the knee. I bump them in the bottom, step on the ground, and I turn. And I had the single leg. Right, so again, I know it's a quick review, guys. I know we're running out of some time, but I wanted to make sure and cover that. The last couple of things that we have to remind you guys is this, single leg takedowns. Most of you guys can do single leg takedowns, no problem. But we also, with the standing, we worked on a guillotine. So I'm gonna show you something and hopefully this makes sense. Let's say this is the head of the person coming in and this is their neck. If I grab this like this, standing, and I grab my hand like this, not a problem. If I sit down, if I grab it standing and I go like this, you're gonna get disqualified. You'll either get stopped first, maybe warned. If you keep doing it, you'll get DQ'd, right? But when you do the guillotine, this is how you're gonna lock it up, right? If this is the neck, if the blue part is the neck, look where my elbow is. My elbow's on this side. The neck is in between his, my elbow and my body. I take the outside hand and I grab like this. I walk it up super tight. Does that make sense? Now, I have to look, I'm gonna do this with my elbow, watch. You see how I pinched my elbow? It's open, I pinch. When I pinch, that's when it gets crazy tight. And then I roll back and I finish it. So we did it from the ground. So if you can imagine, I sat up, I grab the neck, I go here, I pinch my elbow. Now look, if I'm pinching and this is his head, then I, Roll back, I close my guard, and then to finish it, boom, I finish it and I squeeze. This is also the one where I told you guys that you have to be careful when you practice with your partner because sometimes your hands get stuck. And so if you're the guy being choked, you need to make sure that you tap a little bit early so you don't uh, freak out and get scared because it can be scary. Um, other than that, guys, um, that's pretty much it. We looked at the defense. Um, like I said, but we're not going to have time for that. Yep, we're going to bow out and we'll call it good for the day, guys. So, come on, come feet on. are together, hands are at the side. Good. And bow. Good. 
Good, guys, thank you very much.